Hi, and welcome to the overview for MBA 592 Organizational Behavior for Summer 2020. So the purpose of this video is to answer many frequently asked questions and give you an overview of how this class is going to work. We're going to follow this menu path here, which I set up. The first one is announcements, so you should read the announcements over completely. The first announcement is about getting started, and I list five things to do to get started. Now, the first thing is, of course, you're watching the video, which I listed here, but you also want to uh, read the assigned chapters, watch the lecture video, complete the discussion board questions for this week, work on the homework manager, quizzes and assignments, and start thinking about the two different papers we have for this course. <clears throat> uh, then it continues on for instructions on how to sign up for the homework manager. Two important things for the homework manager is make sure you use the same name that you use for Blackboard, so I know who you are. You'll be surprised how many students come up with different names, last names and first names they use between for the homework manager compared to what's on Solar or Blackboard, so try to keep that the same. Also, if you set up a temporary account, I can't see that, and I can't issue any grades based on temporary accounts. So be careful if you use a temporary account, it's invisible to me, so you're going to have to uh, I suggest not even bothering with the temporary account and just setting up the full account right away because uh, there has been some problems in the past converting temporary over to permanent accounts. All right. Uh, and then I give, I list the overview of the course and I list the course schedule by week, including the chapters and lectures, video lectures, uh, and homework assignments for each of the weeks, all the way from week one to week six. Uh, and then I give a then I give an overview of the two papers due for the class. One is a CEO profile paper. You know, it's an organization culture report. One's due on the 26th, the other one on the 9th. So I give you um, some information about how to correctly cite your paper, including different sources and websites to get some information, as well as the rubric I'm using to grade your paper. So you should read this over before submitting your paper. Okay, so those are the announcements you should look over, read more carefully when you have time. We also have the syllabus, and in the syllabus I go over, I talk about the textbook, the purchase option, the course ID for the homework manager and textbook. This is an asynchronous course. Um, I, get, I talk about the course objectives and description, the learning goals for the course, how we're gonna accomplish the learning goals, our class time, um, the grades will be, uh, there's 2,000 points in the, uh, for the grade book here, 200 for the first paper, 200 for the second paper, 400 for the discussion board questions, 700 for quizzes, 500 for regular homework assignments. And if you divide by 20, you can get an average or points that convert to a grade. Um, and then talk a little about how to prepare and participation, discussion board questions, the organizational culture report, and the CEO profile report, as well as, again, the class schedule and the syllabus and the rubric. So some du duplicate information here to what's on the announcements, but you should read over the syllabus in its entirety when you have time. Okay, so let's get to the next button. We have the class lecture. So if you click this, it'll bring you over to the YouTube channel. And here is where we have the playlist I'm going to be uh, for each chapter is listed here that we're that we're going to be going over in the class that you may want to take a, a look at. <clears throat> so if you follow this order of um, lecture videos, you'll be able to easily keep track of the lectures for the class. So that's the fast and easy way to get to the course lectures. I also will be emailing out weekly reminders of what to be watching and working on. Now the PowerPoints, for the, these PowerPoints are tied to the course lectures. So these are related to the lectures that I've recorded. We have the textbook and homework manager. So if you click this button, it'll bring you to uh, where you can register as a student. But what you wanna make sure from announcements is that you have the course ID. This will also be the instructions here so if you click here, register as a student, you're going to need your email address. I suggest using your Stony Brook email address. Um, and again, register with your 
same name that's on solar and blackboard so i can easily identify you uh you have i have the the id comes same. from announcements and also so you'll be able to pay for this with a credit card or paypal there are no access codes so once you register you put in the course id continue and then you'll have to either create account create an account or use an existing account to connect to the course okay now once you're in the course i'm going to sign in and show you what it looks like okay, so once you're in the homework manager you'll have the most important tabs will be the this is of course going to look a little different than yours because this is the instructor page but you have the assignments the e-textbook and the results so the e-textbook comes with the homework manager so they used to sell them separately but now when you buy the homework manager you get a, a free e-text of a textbook for the class the assignments are if you click here you'll see all the assignments for the class so each chapter that we're covering including the yellow circles the, sorry the yellow or orange squares are quizzes and the blue circles are homeworks quizzes are worth more points and it's in date do of, of the chapters we were going over and the dates that they're due so it's pretty simple um, this is an assignment here so it explains how the my finance lab works and it's just really kind of reading this over to give you a couple information on how to get started so when you go into any of the homeworks you just of course click on it click on a question now these questions aren't going to be easy to answer unless you've read the textbook or watched the lecture first but you get um you get one chance for some of these questions to answer them and if you need help with the question it'll actually lead you to the point in the e-textbook where the question is from and make sure you disable pop-up blockers because that could prevent you from accessing the homework and if you have um, chrome it's easy to just give it like a little box warning and you say allow pop-up blockers you might have some video assignments where you have to watch um, a video sort of let's see here let's shrink this a bit so you watch your video and then you answer questions uh, related to the video and again the questions are going to be tied into the uh, textbook okay uh, there's also sometimes there's mini sims this one's on leadership And again, it'll be a scenario that you have to follow. And as you're following the scenario, at a certain point, let's see, so it'll give you, you read through the scenario and then it'll give you, um, you select an option. Again, this is gonna be based on what's in the textbook and then, you know, it continues, okay. So some fun stuff, you know, different things. Then you, at the end of the chapter, you'll have a quiz. So this is more of a formal test. You start, and there's usually 25 questions related to the textbook, and then you answer, of course, answer the questions, and move forward to the next question, and then submit the test when you're done. Okay, so, so pretty self-explanatory homework manager. So again, once you complete any of the assignments, you can go to results, to see your results and, and review what you got right and what you got wrong and your overall percentage average for the class. Um, so those are the three main areas that you want to look at. E-textbook assignments and results. Okay. So that would be the homework manager and the textbook. Now the paper assignments, if you click here, um, I do list the discussion board, but more importantly, there's two paper assignments listed here with questions to answer. So once you uh, write out the questions, you're going to click on the link here. Uh, you should view the rubric before you submit and understand what, how and what I'm using to grade. It's the same rubric that's in the syllabus. And then when you're ready, you click browse my computer and attach your Word or PDF file to the, to the uh, computer and then click on submit. And that way I'll, I'll be able to see your paper on my side and grade it 
uh, after you're done. And just keep a note of the two different due dates for the two different papers. Uh, now, finally, there's the discussion boards. So in the discussion boards, I'm gonna actually just, okay. So you have, um, first, each week you have a discussion board from week uh, one to six. So in the discussion board, sometimes I'll include the PDF to read, like this one, and then a number of questions for you to answer. Um, and sometimes I'll just ask the questions in here and there'll be no documents to read. So each discussion board is a little bit different. And I expect you to post your original response on Monday and Tuesday and your replies to other students on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I expect every student to, of course, make an original post answering the questions and then at least three replies um, to other students' posts. Replies um, to the replies on your post, your original post don't count. These have to be three replies on other students' uh, posts. So you click here to get started. And then, so one thing you might want to do is copy the questions. Click here, see where it says click here to get started. And then you can create a thread. And how I usually, oh, the questions are also up here, which is good too. Um, so usually you can start with your name, dash, and then you could say uh, week one discussion board or whatever the topic is that you want to do. This topic is um, gender and leadership. So you can kind of put that in there. Um, and then write your response in the text box. You can copy the questions over uh, and then put your answer below each of the questions. And if you do cite any information or, or an article, make sure you also put the citation at the bottom when you're done. A lot of the information here is opinion oriented, but some are factual oriented. Um, and then when you're done, you just hit submit. And now you'll see a thread here. So when you go in, you want to create your own thread. Don't put your originals to somebody else's thread, but you should go into other students' threads, read their response, and give them a number of overall rating between one and five stars. Uh, and you can also give a reply. So for example, I might say, you uh, listed the questions, but no without responses why okay let's hit submit so that would be like my response saying why did you did you list the questions without responses why um, and so this would be a reply okay you can also if you create your own thread um, let me step back here. Uh, so when you create the next student creates the next thread, you'll see it listed underneath here. So so the next will be here and you'll see there's the next student and the next thread goes on top. I'm just going to delete these two. Okay, so that's how you work the discussion boards. And just keep a note of the due dates. Usually I list the due dates at the top here. Let's see. If you notice with the due dates, they start on Monday and they end on Friday. And again, it's important to, you know, don't be that person that if you list your original post and your replies at 10 p.m. on Friday night, I'm going to take points off because you're not really contributing to a discussion. You're just uh, get, trying to get away with posting the minimum. Uh, it's not in the spirit of the assignment. So the spirit of the assignment is to post your originals on Monday or Tuesday and then make replies to your fellow students and discuss the topics and discuss people's opinions Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And this is something we'd normally do in the classroom, but we're doing it here on the discussion board. Now try to keep the discussion boards interesting with questions that are 
cutting edge of what's happening in the work world today that might be of interest of you and spark some real discussion um, each week that I think you'll find very interesting. Usually the last week, the discussion of open payrolls gets pre people pretty enthusiastic. Okay, so that's the class. So basically uh, each week you're going to um, st uh, start the class out by reading the chapters and watching the lectures answering the discussion board questions and completing the homework manager assignments for that week. Uh, and then in some weeks you'll have uh, papers that are due because there are two papers for the class. So it's pretty straightforward and well organized. Uh, I hope you agree. Uh, and if you have any questions, you can email me directly. If there are um, a question related to the course you think that could benefit all of the students, you can put it in one in the first discussion board about questions about the course. But that's only for uh, questions that's something that might benefit the whole class or some information that would be helpful to the class. Things of a more private nature you can just send to me directly. Okay, thank you for your time and I hope you find the class um, enjoyable.